In this lesson, we'll learn how to create quick silhouettes to explore a concept. Okay, so in the previous lesson, we talked a little bit about creating silhouettes. And uh, one of the benefits to doing this is that when you create a silhouette, you don't have to think about all the detail that's inside that silhouette. You just think about things like form, proportion, um, uh, things of that nature. You can really kind of tighten down and limit what you have to think about by just focusing on the silhouette. The, all that other detail, that can come along later on. But let's come over here to the Lesson 6 Begin file here. I'm going to go ahead and grab my brush by hitting B. And I'll simply come over here and let's just grab this one right here. And uh, I'm going to come up here and hit this little button right here, which will open up my brush panel. Now, typically the first thing I'll do when I'm adjusting um, a brush to work on for silhouettes is I like to pull the spacing all the way down to the left. Um, you can see if we space it out, you get that brush tip uh, spaced out from one another. I'm going to pull that down to the left so I get a nice tight stroke. I'm going to come over here to this little widget and we're going to adjust the roundness of our stroke so that we end up with something more, a little more calligraphic. So uh, we can pinch that down by grabbing those little circles and then maybe spin that around just a little bit, sort of like that. So if we come over here to our layer one, and begin to draw. You can see here that it, it gives us a nice calligraphic type line. So um, let me come over here and erase that. Now I'm dynamically adjusting the size of my brush by holding down the Alt key and right clicking and dragging. Uh, that's something that's uh, relatively new to Photoshop. But while we're here with the eraser tool, again that's E on your keyboard, let's do the same thing to it. Let me come in and select that same brush, ramp down the spacing and crush the tip. There we go. That'll work. So we can go ahead and close out the brush panel now. And let's go ahead and create some silhouettes. Again, you know, I like to use this for hard surface things, things like robots, um, mechs, uh, vehicles I've even used uh, this technique for. So um, we'll just zoom in here and start to kind of plot out some shapes. So maybe this particular um, robot has kind of an elongated head like that. We'll come in here and kind of just drop in kind of the forms of the body here. Now typically when I'm doing sketches I, I told you before that um, I try and steer clear of erasing too much. Now, uh, doing silhouettes is, is one instance though where I, I go ahead and I do erase a little bit just so I can get nice hard edges and I, I can use the combination of my brush tool and my eraser tool that are um, crushed like this to uh, get particular shapes that I might want. Let's step back a few times here with the control alt Z and we'll come in here and bring that arm down just like so. Now again, the same thing applies here. We're really not trying to work tight and, and detailed. We're trying to work relatively quickly here because I think there's something to be said for happy little things that happen when you're working fast. Uh, you start to see forms that uh, maybe weren't there before. We can come in sort of like something like that. You can see here I'm getting pretty big, so I'll just go ahead and hit Control T and free transform. Hold Shift and grab one of those corner controls so we can shrink this guy down just a little bit. And we'll have to deselect with the Control D again, but it's okay. Once you get accustomed to working in Photoshop, um, that kind of thing will come a lot, a lot quicker. You know, I'm going to shrink this down because I, I saw something here with the foot that I kind of liked. Maybe kind of a, a segmented type feel to the feet. Kind of where his uh, 
kind of he's got kind of some big upper toes and maybe a smaller back toe sort of like that and a lot of times what I'll do is I'll come in and I'll start lassoing things up if I don't like the positioning of it and I'll come in and, and reposition things just sort of like that not really knowing what to do with that arm yet so we'll just kinda hang it down sort of like so. So I mentioned kind of before that we can focus not just on form but also on the positive and negative shapes in areas. So um, you can see here that we've got some nice little negative shapes that are being created right along in this area right here. Uh, we've also kind of got some shapes right here that are starting to form as well. So um, thinking that maybe might come in and and bring that back just a bit. Maybe start to carve something out here. Starting to think about his other arm. What we're going to do with that. Maybe that's kind of got some overlap to it here. Kind of giving him this nice contrast between um, basically big thick shoulders, big thick forearms, and kind of spindly areas between the elbow and the shoulder here. Maybe play with some things that uh, kind of protrude. Again, it's all a matter of just switching back and forth between the brush tool and the eraser tool here. So, uh, feeling like his head may need a little bit more, a uh, little more mass to it. So again, you can spend as much time as you'd like to on these silhouettes. Obviously, I spent probably five minutes or so working on this little silhouette right here. But this is a nice, quick way to start when when doing kind of these hard surface type things like this. Now, um, again, another tool that you might consider adding to your arsenal. Uh, let me just go ahead and take this guy right here, and I'm going to lasso him up by hitting the L key, Control and Alt and Shift, and I'll drag a copy to the right here. And let me go and show you the polygonal lasso tool. It's right here underneath the normal lasso. Um, and what this allows you to do is make selections with hard edges. So um, you'll have to come back in until you see a little circle next to your cursor to complete a selection. But we can make nice little selections using that polygonal lasso tool. So um, with that tool, we can come in and we can start to uh, chisel out some areas and delete them kind of in more of a uh, mechanical type fashion. If maybe our brush tool isn't giving us um, a satisfactory result for those type of areas. Now I'm going to hold shift and come in here and do the same thing on the other side. So we can come in and hit the delete key and kind of delete some little areas out sort of like that. Um, maybe we come in here and start to pull out some areas like this as well, kind of creating almost a, a some kind of a strut or a shock there. Do the same thing over here. Now, if you get kind of twisted with your your uh, polygonal lasso tool like this, you can hit that backspace key and step back one click at a time. So I'm trying to hit that selection. Let's go ahead and backspace a few times. There it is. There we go. So you can kind of see how this silhouetting method um, is a really quick way to create interesting, um, in this case, a, uh, a mech concept um, in just a matter of minutes. Now, um, once we have um, settled on a, a silhouette that we like, we can begin to start to um, think about the rest of the details. But we've got some really interesting forms going on in this character right here as it is. And um, I would probably go through if I was working on a mech concept and 
I would probably create however many silhouettes that I had allocated time to create. Maybe it's a half dozen, maybe it's a dozen, maybe it's two dozen different silhouettes of potential options for the character. So uh, in this lesson we've learned how to quickly create silhouettes of a character concept. Now we've talked a little bit about thumbnails, we've talked a little bit about gesture, we've now we've looked at silhouetting or creating silhouettes for a character. So we have one last technique that we spoke about earlier on in this course. We talked a little bit about speed painting. So in the next lesson let's go ahead and take a glimpse at how that might work to help us visualize a concept.